Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while. Welcome back to the 27th episode of Poker Life India. Let's get into it. So I was saying guys, it has been a while and um, yeah, lots to talk about. So around Diwali, there was a sort of a downswing. Well, a major, major downswing, which I went under and um, yeah, I didn't feel like talking, filming much about it. So I, you know, went back, delved back, started studying the game and my mistakes that I made. Also took a break from poker for a while. Um, and also there was a new project that I was doing. Uh, it's called the Deja Vu Lounge, which we did in 45 days. Yes, 45 days flat. Have a look. So that kept me busy uh, for the whole of November and December. I uh, was playing poker a little bit, but not too much. And then, of course, was the then after that was the much awaited trip to Europe, uh, London and Spain, where we we actually planned a trip around the Andrew Nimi Brad uh, meetup game. So we were lucky to witness that and play at that at the Aspers Casino in London. So here on out, what I'm going to do is talk you through my trip. A uh, little visuals of here and there, something exciting from my trip, non poker stuff, and obviously then we delve right into the hands. If you want to get right into the hands, I will leave the timer link or you know where to look for the hands out here. Yep, so you can just jump into the hands from there. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the poker travel and poker hands. Yeah. Central Cafe in Malaga, which is supposed to be more than a hundred years old. The operation started around 1920. Coffee as you order it started. Espresso, ristretto. It is 9.30 in the PM in Sevilla, Spain. We're taking a walk to the Admiral Casino. Gonna try and play 1.25, a 2.5 or 2.5 game over there, whatever is available. So yeah, let's just see if we get a seat easily. Okay, the first hand we have is where I am in the middle position, it folds down to us and we wake up to pocket sevens. So we make a standard 3x raise to 15 euros, uh, blinds being 2.5 and 5. And only the button calls in this situation along with the cutoff as well. So we go three way to a flop, pretty standard and it's a favorable flop for us. We have seven ace three. Uh, rainbow obviously. So what we do here is that we make a, st uh, a check bet. Um, I pretty much 
was sure that somebody would at least have an ace and you know bet towards it but that doesn't happen the board checks through the pot is around 52 euros the next card is a 10 of diamonds and in this case we don't want to slow our roll anymore we value bet for 25 into a bet of a uh, pot of around 50 and cut off falls it's just the button who calls now i'm trying to extract maximum value here the, the seven the last card the river is a six of spades doesn't hit a lot except for four or five uh, in terms of getting a straight uh, nonetheless i bet good for uh, i bet for value uh, trying to get a good ace x to call i bet 65 into a pot of around 95 and unfortunately the button falls and we secure the pot so i was up in the first half an hour of the session from 250 euros to around 360 euros and like I was saying, after that I was pretty card deck, nothing seemed to hit much and I pretty much dwindled down to um, 260 euros and after three hours of playing, my patience was getting worked up and the table was pretty tight, it was full of regulars like I said, there was just one fish, so as to say it was playing loose, um, not many edges there but uh, the last hand that I have to share for you from that session in Sevilla is where we have Ace Queen of Spades and we are in the small blind. The action starts where under the green, uh, under the gun plus two raises it for 20, do uh, 20 euros, which is a pretty standard raise for this table, 15 to 20 euros. And surprisingly, we have five people who call that bet. So um, we have 100 euros in the pot and I am the next to act. I take a line, an interesting line. Um, if I flat, I am the first one to call in this situation, which puts me at a disadvantage for the rest of the hand. What I decide to do is to raise the bet here by 100 euros in total to isolate and play heads up against one person, right? And everybody falls and falls down to one person, uh, this uncle who was talking about who's been playing fairly loose throughout the evening, but um, who, he was a little tipsy, then he took a break and then he started playing, he came back and started playing well. Uh, anyway, he jams his stack of, I don't know, 600 euros all in. In a way, I'm happy to see it's him because the other people were playing much, much tighter and my rage was doing pretty well against his. And without thinking it for too long, I called. We, I feel pretty good about it so far. The only thing is the board, he doesn't show his hand yet. And the board runs out. He flips over his hand, just shows me a single jack. And I am saying, God, please let it be ace jack. The way this uncle was playing, I was really, really hoping for an ace jack. I show my ace queen. He flips his, he flips the other card. It's another jack. So we were essentially in a flip. Ace queen against jacks. We were around, I don't know, 45% favorite. And yeah, that didn't carry well for us. So after that, um, I was pretty tired. It was around 1.30, 2 a.m. at night. And um, yeah, I was pretty tired, so I didn't feel like rebuying in. And call it a night, had a drink, went home, and that was severe. I mean, we were one buy and down. Uh, not too bad. Um, I This is the first time I paid 200, 400 as per the Indian currency conversion. And um, yeah, I mean, on to the next session. That's just the end of part one, guys. Uh, there will be multiple series to follow. And in the series to come, we play hands at the Aspers Casino for the meetup game and as well as the Hippodrome Casino in Leicester Square. Stay tuned.